How's it going, traders? It is Will with Trader Society. I'm currently here in my happy place, away from all the chaos. Shout out to all the night owls who are rocking with us, studying the market, looking for the best setups to trade at the best prices that are going to make the money for next week instead of partying on the weekend. So first things first, we are going to get into the SPY. I'm going to do an important updated price action analysis on the SPY. I'm going to be showing you the upcoming trading setups that I'm planning to trade next week. Also explaining a new position that I entered today for a swing trade. I'm going to show you how to trade the best setups at the best prices. We had a big day within Trader Society. I got to give some students a shout out because they absolutely crushed it within today's trading session. So in terms of, you know, students within Trader Society, today was a big day for some members. Um, shout out to this guy, man. His account is over 1.5 million. Ended up making 700K on the day. He's absolutely crushing it. Poor kid investing. The consistency, man. His account is up over, I think, 90%. Let me see if I could find that message um, that he posted today. I think he said 90%. Yeah, this is insane. Check this out. He said his accounts, he started with $1,000. Um, he's been studying the strategy for nearly a year now from all the free content that I put out. He back tested it for nearly a year. Um, he signed up for the program, Trader Society, three weeks ago. He grew his account from $1,000 to $1,900. Already made back more than two times the cost of the program within his first two weeks. His account is up 90% amazing results and he's given a lot of great information within the chat some really great content that will help guide you guys um for those of you who are new to the program as well so um big shout out to him here are my guys again he's back at it killing it up over 2700 dollars on the day i got to give a big shout out to bobby he was up five for six on the day five winning trades one loss absolutely killing it triple by from the watch list that I sent out. And then he also nailed um, AMD put options from the watches I sent out. If you guys watch that video towards the end, you're well aware. I said buy puts on AMD when it cracks 109.30. Big shout out to him. He's absolutely killing it, man. Another new member, so consistent. So I gotta give a big shout out to the members within Trader Society. I'm extremely consistent. Um, unfortunately for me, my sleep schedule has been very, very off and it really hit me this morning. I slept straight through my alarm. I didn't even hear my alarm go off. Um, this is the first day in like two months where I missed the morning live trading session and that cost me over five figures because I would have bought those um, you know, AMD puts. But I want to give a big shout out to the members because they're utilizing the strategy. They're utilizing the watch list. We're going to recap the watch list. We had the BBBY long play. Bobby played that one. And then we had the AMD put the AMD put option play at 109.34. So, I mean, this truly goes to show you, even though I missed a day, there's members that are self-sufficient, they're profitable, and they know what it is that they're doing. And they don't require for me to be there because they know it works and they understand what works. Um, so big shout out to the members who are on that level. And I'm gonna make sure that I don't miss another day. My sleep schedule has been on an absolute wreck um, lately. I've literally, I've been going to bed at like five or 6 a.m., just couldn't get any sleep, wake up at like 8 a.m., um, trade live, and then I go back to sleep for a little bit. It's like a four to five hour um, you know, sleep schedule. So I'm gonna fix that. Um, that recently took a toll. But um, anyways, I'm gonna get caught back up on sleep towards the weekend and make sure that doesn't happen again. But um, let's go over the SPY. So in terms of the SPY, guys, what I want you to understand about the SPY is we're due for a micro pullback. There is still a gap to fill, though, at $443.80. The best price to buy the SPY is going to be at $443.80 to fill this gap. That's going to be the best price to um, buy this SPY is $443.80 to fill this gap. Um, that would be the best price to play for the gap close reversal on the SPY. Now, in terms of how does this look right now? It looks like we are going to see a micro spike. It looks like we're going to see a micro spike. Take a look at this candlestick at key support right here. It shoots up, right? So you see you see how this candlestick is nearly identical to this one and then spy shoots up. Not the first time it's done that towards key support. You can just study that candle and look at how it reacts whenever it forms that candle towards support. Same candlestick right here towards support. It shoots up a couple days after and it has a strong history of doing that. Same candlestick right here towards key support shoots up right after. So these candlesticks are really going to help guide you when it comes to swing trading. Um, so I'm bullish heading into the, you know, next week. I think we're going to see a micro move up, a micro spike for the SPY. As you can see, it's already trending up during after hours as well. And with that being said, I decided to play triple BY from the watch list. 
So I'm currently long on triple BY. I have the 22.5 in the money contracts and I'm currently long on those, the April 8th expiration. The reason why I think triple BY is going to spike because it's currently following this buy and the spy looks bullish. And I went with this one because of the chart. The chart looks very, very bullish. You have this strong bullish wick right here. You have a strong bullish wick right here. And you can just see what occurs with this pattern. It likes to explode up. It likes to explode up. Um, one of the things that I dislike about this setup is it's mainly just key support and kind of following the spy in a sense. It's an oversold key support level that's been beaten down due for some correction. So that's one of the that's one of the things I dislike about it because that's the main part of it. The volume isn't the strongest as well. So it's not some sort of special gap strategy in a sense. Um, and there is no gap to fill above. So it's basic support and resistance. It's a basic setup. But this candle does look strong and i think it's going to work out my max risk is going to be towards uh 2180 on that in terms of my current price target into next week my price target is going to be from 2430 we got a lot of resistance there to 2450 2430 to 2450 is your key resistance if it struggles at that level it's going to be a sell and lock in profits if it breaks out turns into support sell the vast majority, like 70% of the position, leave 30% on to riot. Um, in terms of my personal opinion, I'm really not planning to hold it past 2450. I just want to secure the profits. The contracts should be up 40% plus. Um, the contracts should be up about 50 to 80% plus if this can get to 2350. Um, if it gets to 2450, then they should be up nearly 100 I would say like around 80%. So we'll see how that plays out. But that's the pattern on triple BY key oversold support channel towards the lows. And if you study this pattern right here, this candle, this candle, this candle, this candle, looks very, very micro bullish for a quick run up. Um, heading into you know Monday, the key is it needs to stay above 2230. It needs to stay above 2230, needs to maintain that, needs to stay above 2250. If it can hold those two key support levels, stay above that zone, then we're going to be looking at a nice breakout on triple BY. You can just see how it likes to steadily climb when it forms these bullish candlesticks at the key support level. The best price, and this is going to be a phenomenal dip buying opportunity, make sure you set your price alerts, $16.18. $16.18 is going to be a phenomenal price to buy triple BY for a gap close reversal. That's another phenomenal trading alert that I'm waiting to trigger. As you know, my alerts, my trades come from the watch list. They come from my price alerts. It's premeditated trading. It's very, very simple. And the trades will come to me, right? So that's going to be the best price to buy triple BY. I'm looking forward to that opportunity as time goes on. Let's get into the next stock that I'm watching, um, AMD. A big shout out to the members who played AMD. So again, the watch list was absolutely phenomenal. This is what I had to say about triple BY. Um, it closed at 2253, currently gapping up. I'm interested in buying call options if we can get a strong support for a gap close reversal at 2253. Into the close, once I saw that it was turning into support and breaking out, I bought into that for the swing trade. That should play out very, very nicely for a run to 2350, 2450. Nice, quick, um, 40 to 80 percent return on the call options. That's what I'm looking for on that. In terms of AMD. Our key level for AMD was $109.34. As I had stated, if this cracks, the puts will print. And as I stated right here, um, $109.34 is the make it or break it um, support level. If this cracks and turns into resistance, so the students will read this and then they'll study how it reacts. If it reacts bearish and it's cracking and it's reacting as a resistance level, they'll play it off the watch list like Bobby did for a very nice 40% uh, plus return on those put options fairly quickly. Um, they'll play it once they get that reaction, once they get the confirmation. So the point is, when you learn the confirmations, you learn price action, which is taught within Trader Society during the live trading streams and during all the recordings and um, the video lessons. When you learn the confirmations and how to react, um, and when you learn this stuff, you won't even need me present. That's the beauty of it. Like you need, to, everyone needs to get to the level where they don't need you know me present, where they're self sufficient. That's the goal. Not everyone is at that level. Um, everyone has a different you know experience and a different. Um, you know, everyone's in a different place in a sense, but there is quite a few people who are definitely on that level. I've seen it where they're self-sufficient and they, um, you know, they don't need that assistance anymore. So, um, that's the goal. That's really the end goal is to really get you guys all self-sufficient. But, um, as stated, you know, when this turns into resistance, I'll play put options for a pullback to 105. So I'm really disappointed that I missed out on this setup because I would have made five figures on this trade. Um, but it is what it is. You know, I just got to make sure that, um, you know, I just really try my best to 
just somehow get to sleep if I can't fall asleep. But um, anyways, for AMD, $109.34. So this is how it reacted, right? So it had this gap up. And in terms of the chart, right, you're probably looking at the daily. And we went over this in yesterday's video as well towards the end. Um, you're looking at the daily and you're like, this is micro oversold, right? This just went from $125.67. And you have previous resistance right here at $100 and um three dollars and 33 cents towards this previous closing price right so you're probably looking at this chart and some people are saying that okay let's see if previous resistance reacts as support for a gap close reversal because when this gap built it had a mini reversal and it spiked to 110 during the pre-market trading hours um this did have a little spike right so the point is if amd could turn that previous resistance level into a support level from prior to having a massive crash, this can rip. This can spike very, very big. So you want to see how it reacts towards that key support level. So as you can see, um, it had a little gap close reversal the day before. It bottomed out towards that 109 level, had a little reversal, but then it came back down. So it's already struggling. It's not like it's blasting off or anything. And then towards the pre-market in terms of reactions, you can see it's just topping out. It's just topping out towards this 111 resistance. You got a bearish candle right out the gate. And as you guys know, if that previous closing price that gap close reversal level turns into a resistance level it reacts as bearish then it's going to be a great opportunity for puts so in terms of like when would be the time to pull the trigger on the key breakdown for amd put options well right here it filled the gap and it started bouncing so you don't want to pull the trigger just yet you want to give it a couple minutes see how it reacts so it filled the gap it was attempting to have another gap close reversal like it did from yesterday and it was just sitting it wasn't bouncing that high it was forming lower highs and then the moment it cracks and you see it's forming lower highs right here at 108.74 lower highs right here at 108.72 that's when you pull the trigger when it cracks and it starts forming lower highs lower highs like right here this is some great confirmations it cracked the key level lower highs lower highs lower highs bearish wicks all great confirmations to be buying puts at around 108.60 on amd that did end up falling very very quickly all the way down to um 106 dollars and 77 cents and the low is 106.10 so if you were to go with some let's say 108 puts that were barely out of the money let's see how much you would have made within that time span on amd let's see so that time right around here see how it goes below the previous closing price from one to a dollar and 70 cents, you would have made about a 70% return using that strategy. At the peak, it hit, it hit almost $2, almost 100% return. A 70% to 100% return. Um, big shout out to um, Bobby again for taking advantage of that watch list. You know, it is it is definitely possible to be self-sufficient. That's the opportunity here to really learn how this works. Play triple BY from the watch list, 75%, and of 42% on AMD puts. Very, very nicely done. So big shout out to him on that for being self-sufficient. Um, but yeah, that was AMD. That was the play on that. So in terms of that setup, it's just about understanding that, you know, there's a gap to fill here. If it fails to have a reversal, and it did already have a reversal. It had a micro reversal yesterday. It went from 109 to 111 the next day in the pre-market. If it cracks and turns into resistance, this is what I call it's being held up on thin air. It's going to have a big pullback because if you look at this daily candlestick, um, you know, this just had a massive pullback, right? If previous resistance right here fails to turn into a support level, it fails to bottom at that key level, it's going to have a massive sell-off because look at this daily candle before that. It's just a big green bar. It's held up on thin air. That's going to be a big pullback. It had a massive green day this day, meaning if it cracks the high of this candle, where that previous resistance could have been supporting, it cracks that, it's going to have a very nice downside move to right about there. Right about there is where it's going to have that nice downside move, right? So see, that's how you kind of get price targets in a field. If, if, if it can have a big downside move, it's held up on thin air. That's what I like to call it um, using the daily chart on that, right? It'd be different if it had a bunch of green candlesticks on the daily just gradually going up, but this was just one big bar. So if it's one big green bar like that and it cracks the highs of this, it's going to sell off hard, right? So um, always look for those those key breakdown setups. Those are great setups. Um, another stock, like, like for Tesla, we're waiting for $1,000. Um, $22.09 for the gap close reversal to buy puts. And then for the calls, we're waiting for $1,010.64 to buy calls. That's a top setup that we're looking for. But yeah, guys, these are the best setups at the best prices. 
that's what I'm currently looking at. We went over the SPY and why I feel like it's going to have a micro run up. Um, I decided to go with triple BY to take advantage of that. It looks like it's due for a little squeeze here, a nice little pop. Um, so yeah, that's going to be my swing trade heading into um, next week is going to be the triple BY calls. Um, with that being said, we went over AMD from the watch list. We went over triple BY from the watch list. This was a great lesson in terms of the AMD trading strategy. And I want to give a big shout out to the members um, within Trader Society because today was the day since I wasn't present in the morning where you truly could have tested out um, you know, how you would do without me being present. You had the watch list, you had the preparation, we had the video lessons, everything was prepared. And that was your opportunity to really see how you can perform um, without me being present during that live trading stream. So um, yeah, congratulations to those of you who are really on that path to self-sufficiency. Let's keep it up and let's get right back on track. I'm going to use this weekend to really get, you know, back on track with the, with the sleep schedule. Um, but yeah, if you do want to use this weekend to really study, um, you can join Trader Society. It's going to be the first link in the description. As soon as you sign up, you get instant access. You get lifetime access to the video lesson library that's going to teach you all of the gap trading strategies, very simple strategies that we're using to consistently make money within the stock market. You will also get access to the mindset and psychology of trading and the risk management and position sizing to trading, all of the lessons within the video lesson library. You also get access to live trading streams that we do every single day at market open. You also get, and those are recorded by the way as well. So you can watch the recording if you couldn't attend or if you want to rewatch it for educational purposes, you can watch the recording. It's a live stream. You get to ask me questions live on the spot, a live trading stream every single day at market open. That's mainly when I trade. I do best and I mainly trade within the first hour of market open. That's literally where I'm at. I trade the first hour. I'm typically done within the first 30, 45 minutes. And then like, that's it for the day. And then in terms of the rest of the day, I'm um, just looking for new setups, setting price alerts. If they trigger, then that's a potential trade, but they typically don't trigger. They tend to trigger during the morning is what I've noticed. That's when they tend to trigger during the morning. Um, and that's the best time to be trading, the most volatile time to be trading where you just get in, you get out, make your quick return and call it for the day. For the day. And then from there, it's just doing more research, finding more setups, setting more price alerts and um swing trading swing trading is made right before the market closes so like the last five minutes if i see something great for a swing that's when i make the swing trade my swing trading strategy is different for most people i wait until the close to see how the one day candle looks because like let's say you're bullish on a stock and you buy it in the morning then it turns red and it goes bearish and now it's a bearish candlestick on the daily candle most people will hold through that They'll hold through that bearish, bearish daily candlestick, and then the stock will start crashing the next day. What I do is um, when I swing trade, it relies on the next day's price action. It doesn't rely on this day's price action. So like when I enter a swing trade, I'll get in right before the market closes if the candle looks how I want it to look, right? We're not going to know how that candlestick looks if we're if we're getting in early in the morning because the market can flip-flop at any time. So um, it's a really valuable swing trade strategy that really relies on the next day's price action and not the day you buy that swing trade, right? So in terms of being stopped out or hitting your price target, that occurs the next day. But yeah, those are entered at the last five minutes within the market. We also have some great leap option plays coming up. So you do get lifetime access to live trading streams at market open. Um, the recordings to those live trading streams, you get to ask me questions live on on the spot you get to send me a personal direct message one-on-one -on -one with the members and me in the chat room um you also get lifetime access to the chat room and there's a lot more to it so if you do want to check it out that's going to be the first link down below in the description as soon as you sign up you get instant access to everything and you can start trading live with us as soon as monday morning and in the meantime you can really get caught up on the education on the video lessons within within the members area so a um, big shout out to everybody within Trader Society. I'm glad you guys killed it today. And let's hit Monday very, very strong with another green day.